the first number. I don't really know what the other two numbers are. I don't really know what much of the show is. I just have like a list of names. It's gonna be exciting for me. Let me something. They're gonna do something. I do know that the first song is from a fallen artist this year. Everyone knows who it is. And so it's a, just by way of a little tribute or something like that. So sit back and enjoy the soft musical stylings of Purple Haze, ladies and gentlemen. banter for a little bit until the next stuff comes up. What's going on out front with all those concrete barriers? How can we never get announcements about stuff like that? <laughs> you know, it looks like you're setting up with a zombie apocalypse or something like that. <laughs> the one thing I did like about the construction is when they took off that statue, is that was like the worst, I don't know if anyone that you knew in the gallery had this worst modern art statue. It was like this big block, it was busted in half. It was the worst thing in the world. Knew that guy thought it was ever. He thought he'd put it in there forever. He poured his heart and soul into this. And they took it away. I never saw anyone took a statue away before. <laughs> Guy's crying. He's still right He's crying somewhere, you know. Summit of my life. Done. And also has to put the vibrations downstairs. I mean, when somebody tells me there's gonna be vibrations, I get my cell phone. <laughs> I mean, I ignore my vibrations. I, oh, vibrations, you know, I have cell phone vibrations. I often don't pick it up then. But this was a little more like earthquake vibrations. <laughs> Playing dodgeball with bulldozers or something like that? I, I believe we're ready. 
coming up for some dancers. I like watching dancers because I cannot dance myself. I know, hashtag not all white guys can dance. Uh, and I'm one of those, unfortunately. I mean, I try. I, I like to express myself in the quiet and privacy of my own room where nobody can ever possibly see me. So I like to see good dancing when it comes up. So, ladies and gentlemen, dancers will consist of Lisa, Renee, Rosanna, Jessica, Maria, Colleen, Shino, and Nate. Come on up and do your thing here. because this is really, really hard. Um, they ask me to do it, and um, I'm a real strong believer that anybody can dance. And folks say, I have two left feet. Your flavor, your style is unique for you. I think where the problem comes in is when we look at other people and we try to dance like them, that's not the case. You do you. Do the basic. Once you get the basic, you get your flavor, and you do you. So I just want to encourage them because, you know, they, they was like, Mom, if you want to dance, so I'm like, okay, we practiced a couple times and the dance that we're going to do, it is a hard dance. It took a while to do it. But also, for me, teaching, I'm serving them. It's not they're serving me. I'm the instructor, but I'm serving them. I'm serving them by teaching them to bring out what's inside of them that they thought they did not have, but they do. So I am going to start line dancing again in January. Um, I'm also going to do some Zumba. So it's only going to be a half an hour. So come on out, de-stress, you know, dance, have fun, and then go back to work, <laughs> you know? So um, it's only going to be a half an hour. The line dances I teach will be very easy line dancing, but it's about moving. It's about, you know, just getting energized. I don't know how much long I'm gonna be able to do this. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to um, use my health and the strength that I have while I have it. So um, the name of this dance is called Airtight. I wish Shelly was here because um, we line dance like five or six hours on Wednesday night and um, we get it in. So um, again, thank you for allowing us to serve you. Thank y'all for allowing me to serve y'all because that's exactly what instruction is to me. 